Hey everyone, I wanted to show you real quickly how you can get maggots if you're doing a quick forensics unit. You don't have to be a forensics teacher. Um, students love forensics, so if you have, you know, a week before spring break or at the end of the school year and you want to throw this in, it's really fun. If you're not familiar with forensic entomology, it's when scientists use um, insects to determine the time of death of a body. It's pretty predictable what insects will show up at what times. And so, especially um, with blowflies and maggots, they're one of the first ones to show up. So students really enjoy looking at them. Um, so how do you do this? First off, I've tried this a couple times and it wasn't always successful, so a couple tips. First, it needs to be warm outside. It needs to be at least 70 Fahrenheit. If it's 85 or higher, awesome. I'm in Phoenix, so it's really hot here, so it's not a problem right now. Also, maggots like to be in dark. So if you have your chicken carcass or piece of meat or whatever you're using, um, I put a cardboard box over the top and poked holes in it so the flies could still get in um, and lay the eggs on the chicken, but are still in the dark. If you are doing this at school, you're going to want to find an undisturbed place where students aren't going to be messing with it because it's going to need to sit for a while. Um, looking at probably four to five days for students to really see a lot of populations going on inside. So find a place where it's not going to be messed with. Um, I will show you real quick. Uh, this is day five that I did this experiment in my backyard and I'll show you what's growing. All right, so how would you use this with students? You have a couple options. Option number one is if you have an undisturbed place where it's not gonna be messed with, I would have students check them multiple days in a row and see how the populations are changing. We know that first blowflies will show up and then they'll see the maggots and going through the life cycle. Beetles will show up after that. So it's gonna get a little bit stinky, but students really enjoy looking at the different critters. Um, another option is you could do a station lab. I bought one from the Trendy Science Teacher on TBT where the students learned about um, entomology and she had different stations set up around the room that I used and um, maggots were one of them. Um, also, if you look online, I can link to it. There's maggot dichotomous keys because there's different species of flies. So students uh, can look at the maggots. You're probably gonna need stereoscopes to get a better look, um, but look at them and determine which species that they have growing. So that's pretty fun. Um, once you are done, yes, you can just throw them in the trash, but it's kind of nice to feed them to chickens or feed them to some organisms. And if you have lizards or any classroom pests and complete that life cycle. So students also can learn about uh, the food chain and food webs and tie everything together with ecology. If you have any questions, let me know. I hope you enjoyed that.